Alright, so today we're doing the United Netherlands. Yeah, that. Repute the Treaty of London. So, um, don't really know what the plan is. Try this before. Lost to Belgium. So, yeah, not looking all that great. Although, Germany went into a civil war, and they couldn't really help me out whenever I went fascist. But, let's see what happens this time. Maybe they're not going to go fascist and they'll actually help me out, but who knows with Germany. Um, just going to start building up some stuff throughout here. You know, also down here in the Dutch East Indies, because I can just annex them later on. Because you just start out with them as a puppet, and they have a lot of rubber that you can get. So, yeah, just going to take some stuff off of them. Um... I'm gonna go over here, get all my guys into this. Oh gosh, we only have eight troops. Um, get a guy and this guy as well. We are gonna drop or drop that right there. Go ahead, get some research going. You know, just the normal stuff. Um, we're gonna get some extra resources from the USA, and we're gonna speed it up now. So, yeah. Don't really know what's going to happen. Hopefully. Oh, yeah. I've still got the demand AI on it. I forgot that I even had that still on from last episode. But we'll know if they go into a civil war or this gets demilitarized. If that gets demilitarized, then we're saved. If it doesn't get demilitarized and they go into a civil war, then we're kind of screwed. So it's really just a 50 50 shot. But Belgium over here, they grow real fast. They only have 20 divisions right now. But they get big. Like, it's it's actually kind of tough. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that. Gonna chuck that up there. Not really going to use it this round. Because don't really have to. I just kept it on whenever I did the, you know, United Central America. So I could do a man that. You know, I never, I don't think I even did do that. Um, Turkey real militarizes and stuff. Wait. Hang on. Yes! They demilitarize, which means that they're not gonna, or it means that they're gonna stay fascist and they can help me out in my, like, wars. Because if I come over to here, join Germany. Boom. I can join the Axis. I got player led peace conference on. I can go to war with these guys and I'll just smack them across the face. So this is gonna be some easy claps. We just gotta get all our stuff ready. We are not banning anything. Because we need to go fascist. And I'm just going to start getting this, boom, military theorist over there. Wait, that's this guy. Hang on. Look. Godfried or whatever. Yeah, it's the same dude. That's cool. But anyways, we need to up our conscription laws in a little bit. I don't care if Germany, like, gets its stuff. Once I complete this, I'm just going to give it to the Germans because I want to help them out. Because <laughs> I am so glad that they stayed fascist. Because, wow, this sucked if it wasn't. But anyways, I'm just going to work my way up slowly. Get ready. With the help of the Germans, I'll be able to just punch the Belgians like it's nothing. But I have to join Germany before they try to take me over. Yikes. So, I'm um, just going to come over here, get all this done. We are almost done with the gateway to Europe. Can't really get anything over here, but I will get a war industrialist. Oh, uh, cool. Poland caves uh, stuff. Poland. Poland got a new king. But anyways, Germany, please help. Uh, do that with the Germans. I don't know what that does. Um... Yeah, I really hope I can just join them. Oh, cool. It just gives them some points. So, yeah, I need to start working on that. Just giving them some stuff. Um, I'll get an anti-revolutionary. I mean, yeah, I just got to start just handing the Germans everything I have. So that way they'll help me out later on in the wars against Belgium and Luxembourg. Luxembourg ain't nothing, but Belgium, that's what sucks. 
Especially because I start out with nothing because of all this stuff over here. I mean, so we're abandoning the gold standard. We're going to do that. Get, you know, just all the normal stuff going on. Building up our military factories right now. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Um, we got Johnson's M14, which look kind of cool. Well, they look really cool, I should say. Uh, we're going to come over here, over on uh, military budget cuts. Um, oh, yeah, so this down here. 1839, they separated us. And now we're going to unite them, which is me. I'm going to unite them. Wow, the British hasn't even tried yet. They're just kind of letting Germany have this one, apparently. Oh, wait, no. Dang it. I don't want one of those because I need to get a fascist guy in charge. Wait, can I do cave to the Germans now? Yes, I can. All right, that's nice. So that'll give us a fascist guy. And we can switch to fascist, and we'll get strength over blood once we become fascist. But until then, we'll just go down these lines and stuff. Get war on pacifism. Which basically just means that we'll be able to um, get rid of this thing right here. Which is awful for our army and stuff. Yeah, we're going to get some more support for this. Or overturn military budget cuts. Uh, cave over or cave for the Germans. It only takes 35 days, but yeah, we're doing all right. I'd say we can go ahead and get unyielding defender once we have more of that. But I don't really care about that stuff. Just kind of just running through here. Some improved machine tools. I think most of Belgium's army is like right here on the French border, but um, we can just work on getting some artillery. Which would help with our army. But like I said, we can kind of just let the Germans do everything and then I'll take all the credit. Uh, yeah. Netherlands case to the Germans. Yeah, 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 we know. Um, get over here. Now we need to start saving up to get 150 political power. Rest of it, hang on. We're going to bring that down to zero trade with the Americans. Where's Germany at with the steel? I think I'm blind. Oh, yeah, here they are. Boom. Give us the trade that we need. There we go. Now we're trading with the Germans. Hopefully making them happy. Oh, they've got... Oh, wow. Spain hasn't even split up yet. Normally they go into like a four-way civil war. Well, to be fair, it's still uh, just late... Thir seeing the, er, yeah, it's just late 1936. But looks like National Spain's about to kick Spain out of the top up here. They have no supply. And then if they cut them off right through here, then, uh, yeah, Barcelona is kind of just dead. But with some of the DLCs I got, it makes a lot worse. Where it, National Spain splits up and Normal Spain splits up. Oh, I think they just cut them off. Yep, they did. If they can hold on to that. Oh, and they took the port. Wow. Now they only have Barcelona to fuel them. I'm just kind of watching. Oh, wait, here we go. Now it gets somewhat interesting for a little bit. Uh, we'll go ahead and swap this guy out. Or no, no, no. We'll swap this guy out with the fascist demagogue. And then we'll get prepare, or no, we'll get open up for political discourse once we have less than 90% support for this, which we have right now. So yeah, do that. And then we are going to switch to fascist real soon. But right now, we just need to get all of this done and join Germany. But yeah, I think I might be able to do it this time. Because last time was awful. But I'll be fine. So, kind of just sitting here. Well, manpower, yeah, yeah, we know. Oh, cool, improved machine tools. That's pretty much all we need from you. Now we're going to switch over to concentrated industry. And down here, we can look. Yeah. Spain's getting crushed. They're split in two. And they're kind of short. Wow. Wait. Wait a second. If Spain loses that, because that's where they get split up at. They take Catalonia. Oh, yep. There it goes. Boom. What did I say? Catalonia. That's where it pops up. The Thunder Cross Latvia declared war on normal Latvia. Which one's which? 
Oh wait, so this is the Thundercross Latvia, and then that one's normal Latvia. Who knows, they got a river dividing them. But, um, over through here, we can discredit the government, which gives us 10% fascism. And swap over to that. They still haven't done the Anschluss yet, so I don't even know if they're going to... Well, yeah, they're nowhere near being able to do around the Magino. Because in order to do that, they have to, um, take that part off of Lithuania, also do the Anschluss, and take Danzig from Poland. So I don't think that's going to be happening anytime soon. Spanish Civil War, which I have, like... I've looked at it quite a bit, but I've never seen it so bad. Oh crap, we need more than 10% world tension to do either of these. Yikes. Um, we're only at 3 right now. Oh, there we go, we're up to 4. I am about to switch to fascist sometime in the near future. Man... Can we get up? Oh, there we go. Second Russian Civil War. That's at nine. Wait, this isn't a normal Russian Civil War. It's the provisional Russian government, but they're in Siberia, and these guys have the normal land. Oh, although they are getting split up a bit. Wow, this is just awkward. There's a lot of Civil Wars in the DLCs. But very soon, once we get one more percent world tension, we're going to go up, and we'll be able to get rid of pacifism in our nation. Oh yeah, I forgot, I want to continue trade with Germany. Because they like us, and I want them to like us. But yeah, we're doing alright. Kind of just getting set up. Um, don't really know what that's telling us to do. Oh yeah, core of the territory. Boom, boom. I have core with compliance on. You know, are they even going to split up with the Carlists? I don't know if they are. They better split up, because they're doing great right now. Although, we do want another fascist in the world. Although, we're not going to be playing this one for very long. Um, hmm. Guess I could come up here. Or, I really don't know which one to do. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and, like, get some public work. Can someone declare war on someone? Because I really need some extra world tension, my guy. I wish there was like a political advisor that increased world tension. Because that would be awesome right now. Germany, just do the freaking like Anschluss or something. Like seriously, my guy. You just gotta do that. That's literally it. They don't even have 500,000 manpower. Oh great, little Anton. Oh, there we go. That kicked it up to 15%. Boom formation of a faction boosted it up i'm good now it's time to shine after continue the public works we're going to get protected against britain war on pacifism which we also have more than 15 percent world tension as long as it doesn't go down and then we can just get rid of um pacifism in our nation which means that we will be able to do uh that Oh, there we go. Concentrated industry's done. We're getting over here, getting concentrated industry number two. This is doing all right. We're doing good. We're chilling right now. Um, oh, let's go. Upgrade to limited conscription. That's amazing. We just cored our other two things that had supplies, so I don't think we're even garrisoning anything right now. If we look at our subjects, we are... Still haven't done anything yet. Oh, that's because we're not even building on it. Eh, whatever. Once we're done with ours, it will start. Oh, yeah. So, protect against Britain. No, it dropped down to 14 more percent. Or, er, world tension. We needed to go back up to 15. Please, someone declare war on someone. There we go. That brought it back up to 15. That was a civil war, apparently. And then there's also the provisional Russian government. That's split apart. Just stay at 15%. Alright, there we go. Communist revolution in France. That'll help out. Just stay at 15%, my guy. Please. And as long as, like... Because now if they join the Allies, hopefully the French commune wins. Oh my gosh. Dude, National of Spain didn't split up yet. They're just kicking them out. Um, go ahead and get some army defense. Protect against Britain's done. Now just start the war on pacifism. And please don't drop in 
war ten in world tension, please. Please. Um, they're getting pushed back at the top, but the French commune at the bottom is just breaking through the lines. Like I said, I really hope they win, because if Belgium joins the Allies, France will probably be in the Allies as well. And that is not good for me. Germany, do the Anschluss already, my guy. Jeez, wow, National Spain just won. Alright, haven't seen that one in a while, actually. They're fascist. Oh, okay. Um, another breakout in Armenia. Or, well, that's like more like Georgia or Azerbaijan. In that area, in the Caucasus region. But, um, war on pacifism still going well. The French commune is exploding through the bottom. But if they lose the top, then France can bring all of its army right through here. Which is not what they want. Just, so just hold on. It's another Dunkirk, but this time the first Dunkirk hasn't happened yet. Oh, well, um, the first one just got wrecked. Oh, there we go. I think they're about to connect. Oh, uh, well, Armenia just broke apart. Yeah. Wow. Oh, dang, they almost connected. If they connected, that would have been awesome. Oh, here we go. War on pacifism. Um, hmm. We did that. We can do this over here, but we also... Oh, wait, never mind. Hold a national referendum. Boom. That's done. So, um, screw that thing. And we're going to switch it to uh, strength over blood, which gets rid of aloof neutrality, which is that. And then over here, we can start our crackdown on this stuff. Dang, they're about to lose the top. But the French commune just did a little spearhead motion where they just broke through. If you, come on, bro, just take Paris, commune. If the French commune can take Paris, then I think that'll be it. Hmm. I don't really know. Oh, there goes Georgia. I'm just going to kind of leave it like that for a little bit. I'm just going to turn up the audio over here all right i think that makes it a little bit better and i think y'all might be able to hear the game i'm not sure but um yeah they're getting pushed back pretty far both sides are oh yeah that's the perfect thing for france over here in Brittany. oh they're getting squeezed up they might take Paris soon Dang, the French commune, like, spearhead is really working in their favor. If they can hold on at the top, they're set. Oh, they just lost a part. They just connected with Belgium. And they're still connected with Belgium over here. So. Oh my gosh, Soviet Union. Are you good, bro? They're not okay. <laughs> I can see that now. Oh, well, um, French commune. That's a thing now. Uh, might as well go ahead and start building some units. We'll just start out with two. We're not going to get four. So I don't know if it's Uh, yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and get rid of the pacifist movements. Over here, we're still going to get so we'll join Germany. Oh wait, never mind. We can just yeah, just blend the faction. Cool. Um, I can go ahead and bypass that one. And I can grab. Um, I'll get that thing. Oh yeah, there we go. Now they're lining up for Belgium. I can go ahead and get this. Oh, there we go. Nationalist full victory. I think they just. Oh my gosh, Soviet Union, chill bro, you're literally getting, like, demolished from all sides, I don't even know what to say, just chill, I'm gonna get some of this one right now, um, get some more troops, cracking down on the pacifist movements, which is good, because that also take us a while to get, but, you know how it is sometimes. It do be the way that it be. 
we're in pretty good spot. Oh my gosh. Bruh, just stop. You're literally getting, like, demolished. How many people are you at war with again? Let's see. Oh my gosh. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're at war with seven. They're all getting their war of independence and they're in the Civil War with that. Oh cool, we also got Romania in here. Yeah. That's easy. Oh, they just got split at the top. Should no longer have low main power, but we really do need to up to war economy soon. I do not like the way this is playing. But it looks like, yeah, we just need to do that three more times. Well, two more times after this one. Oh my gosh. There's so many people going for a war of independence right now. And then just a giant civil war. Yeah, the Soviet Union ain't looking too great. It doesn't look like we're gonna have a major communist power. Although we do have France, so I guess that's technically a major communist power. But Germany really can't do much until they do Anschluss. Like, they can't do anything, actually. My like, gosh, the US lobby is also split up. We got a bunch of puppets. We got integrated puppets, but still, yikes. Wow, that is not looking good for them at all. Um. Japan is doing all right over here, I guess. Hopefully they don't try to take over our East Indies. Um, wow, give Japan the resources for them to come over here. Oh, uh, they actually have the ports. There we go, peace. Maybe you can get to Um, we'll come over here and then if you're going to further reinforce the ports for the, uh, probably work on some air force to invade them. You know what? Never mind. Germany's got that in the bag. I'll let them deal with the air force and stuff. I'm really banking off the Germans for this one, but it's what you gotta do. Um, we can get another infantry expert. Oh, nice. Let's get that mass assault doctrine. That's nice, nice. Um, further reinforce the ports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yada yada yada, whatever. Um, southward defenses. That is what we need. Let's go ahead and import some more from Germany. Dang, we can't import from Germany. That's not good. You know what? Here, I'm just gonna get rid of that. Um, but you know what? Never mind. I'll bring it back. Cause why not? Uh, we'll come over here. I guess we can import some, some, more. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, crack down on some pacifist movements. Just two more. Just literally, just two more. And then we'll be A-OK. -okay. <sighs> this is a big yikes. Hmm. This guy, he knows what he's doing. Don't worry, he's got extra war support and acceptance of fascist diplomacy. But, you know, just normal dictator stuff. Um, hmm. Let us do this, I guess. Fine, I'll do that for him. 
but, you know, this is not looking great for me. Um, Germany still hasn't done the Anschluss. He would like, I don't understand what is wrong with Germany. Germany can't do anything until they've got the Anschluss. And they just aren't doing it. Like, can I see, what are you doing right now? You're just working on your, like, economy, but you're not doing the you, you literally have the option to do it and take over all that land, but they just decided not to, apparently. I mean, the Soviet Union just split up into a bunch of weird, disgusting, awful pieces, and same with Yugoslavia. Hmm. I don't know. Everything's crazy right now. We don't have to get an air reformer. We got the mass assault doctrine. Yikes, this is crazy. Um, hmm. Seriously though, when are we going to be done with that whole, like, pacifism thing? Alright, we should be done with it real soon. And because we are going to be done with it real soon, I'm just not going to do anything about it. Alright, cool, we got that guy now. Forgot that I didn't even recruit anyone. Oh my gosh, that gun looks crazy. But we do not care about that. We just want... So, um, seriously, what is it with these tanks? These are literally the same tanks as, um, El Salvador. I just need to get some mechanical engineering done. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do another one, because once this thing has run its course in a couple days, then we'll be done with that, and then we can start our wars for the United Netherlands. And once I got that, I am done, because this is taken me forever. Uh, yeah. It's not that great. To, not fun, but challenge goes on. We're doing it from the bottom to the top. From Z to A. Instead of A to Z. But we are getting there somewhat. Not, actually, never mind. Like, not at all. This takes forever to get all of them done. Although, it's not as bad as doing all the countries. Because all the countries is awful. And this is also awful. Um, hmm. Yeah, I still don't know. Kind of just sitting here. Waiting for that one little thing. To oh, wait, it's done. Oh, nice. I didn't even realize. All right, United Netherlands gives us a war goal against Belgium and Luxembourg. I'm just going to declare war on both and let Germany handle it. Because I know they will be able to. Or I'll just do Luxembourg, let them take them out, and then I'll do Belgium. Because that gives them a wider range of attack. I'm just going to spread them out. Wait, what did Venezuela join? Let me see this. The Hispanic Alliance. Oh, with Mexico and stuff, that's cool. Alright, um... Yeah, we'll get these guys in here, I guess. Um... We'll re-put this line with the new 6 out of 30 guys. We'll get this line up like that. Like I said, we'll go through Luxembourg first. Luxembourg, we can also hit those two territories and send us that way. Oh, it'll just help us out a little bit. So yeah, we're getting everything ready. I don't care if I can't build. I need all the resources I can get. Oh, wow. Kingdom of Livonia just declared war on them. Let's see how that plays out while we wait. Oh, never mind. A uh, bunch of stuff just happened. That happened. The Catholic Mexico and Mexican Soviet Republic are at war. Um, yeah, not Belgium, but that's right now. Alright, there we go. Germany accepted. 
So I'm just going to charge in and execute all the divisions there. And boom. And then spread out. And once we're fully out. You know what? Never mind. We've already had enough guys. I don't care if we have to go to war with them. Just be an exit. Because once I'm done with that, I'm done. Bro, how did Hungary get so much war support? Eh, who cares? Um, take Luxembourg. It's mine now. Belgium ruined the Czech Entente. Don't care. All I care about is that we win. And I can do this. I'm going to track down some more pacifist movements. Cool. I'm just gonna go ahead and move them over, and well, that's that. I have reunified it. I do not want to fi like finish this war. Oh yeah, sure you can take it. Well, yep, there we go. We got it, Leo Belgis. So, uh, bye.